Blessed be the name of the Reverend and Sister. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you're watching these scripts, I bring forth once again the word of grace and knowledge unto you. The book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 4, verse 4. Ezra chapter 4, verse 4. Bible says, Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. The people of the land weakened the hand of the people of Judah and weakened them. They obstructed them from building. I don't know who is inhabiting your promised land. I don't know who is fighting against your glorious end. I don't know who is fighting against your fruitfulness and your harvest. They have allowed you to sow, to plant, but they don't want you to have it. I pray as you are hearing me, every hand of the enemy weaken your progress, stagnating you, fighting against you, obstructing you, be clouding your habit. I command such hand to wither in Jesus' name. Listen, the people of Judah, they have returned back home from exile, and the hand of God was upon them. It was Cyrus who said they should go by in the days of Ezra and Zerubbabel to go and rebuild the temple that was destroyed. But when they got in there, those that were there began to mock them, not only mock them, they conspired to fight against them so that they will not rebuild. I pray every man, every woman, Everyone born of a woman or taken out of a woman, either old in the spiritual realm or old in the natural realm, either young in the natural realm or in the spirit, that want to obstruct your godly or the purpose of existence, the anger of God is provoked right now, and I declare judgment upon them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's say, if God is for you, nothing will be against you. This is the victory that will overcome the world, even our faith. The Lord who has sown that seed in your life and has given you the grace to plant that seed, I pray. Every good seed that God has given you that you have planted, they will grow. Not only will they grow, they will bring forth fruit. Not only will they be a grow, you will have a seed. Not only will you have it, you will eat the fruit of your labor in Jesus' name. The power that be in where you sojourn, where you are, and that are fighting against your fruit today, against that which God has blessed you with. I pray the Lord will subdue them. Listen to the word of God. Who are thou, O great mountain, before the river? Every mountain in the national or in the spiritual that want to stand against you, to prevent you, to hinder you, to oppose you from fulfilling your destiny, as this year 2021 is coming to an end. I pray for the outstretched arm of God, even right now, to destroy them, to slay them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bible said the ass is laid by the truth of every tree that God has not planted. According to my activity, the word of God, Matthew chapter 3, verse 10. I ask the ass of the word of God to be laid upon every tree. And my God, your God, our God has not planted. That the devil has planted in your life, in your journey, in your career, in your business, in your investment, to prevent your good output, good result. Let them wither from the road in the name of Jesus Christ. Obstruction before you. I have got to move them down. Mountain before the Lord put them down. Every valley before you, the Lord will so the crooked way before you in this way. They will be straightened by the mighty hand of God. You will go out safely, you will return back home safely. God will bless the labor of your hand. He will bless your journey, bless your family member. Your husband, your wife, your children, he will bless your career, your investment, your business. In the remaining days that are left in this year, mankind will celebrate you. They will congratulate you before they will say Happy New Year. So shall it be that the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. Until I come your way again, tidy in this presence, God bless you.